protests are happening across the country after the death of George Floyd, and now they've started in the Ohio Valley. On Monday, George Floyd died in Minneapolis while in police custody. The video of his death spreading all over the Internet. And yesterday, Minneapolis police officer Derek Chavin was arrested and charged with third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. This leading to protests, and today there were two right here in the Ohio Valley. News 9's Gage Golding has more on a protest that brought out over 100 people. It started around 1 p.m., more than 100 people packing the steps in front of the East Liverpool City Hall for a protest in the wake of the death of George Floyd. The crowd began to gather on West 6th Street around 1 p.m. East Liverpool police closing the road in front of City Hall to allow for protesters. Dozens of people took turns speaking their emotions to the crowd. We can't have one more black person die because at the hands of the cops just because he's black. We want to show up. We want to show our voices. And we want to stand in solidarity with those that have lost their lives too soon to senseless acts of violence perpetrated by our police force. Some of the protesters as young as 12 years old speaking about how they are dealing with racism in their everyday lives. Some of my friends support it, but most of them are just saying, well, why aren't people respecting the cops? Like, the cops didn't do anything wrong. A lot of them are supporting what's happening. It's not right. The chief of police in East Liverpool spoke to protesters from the steps of City Hall. He denounced the acts of now arrested police officer Derek Chauvin, who knelt on Floyd's neck for several minutes while he pleaded for air. What was done there in Minnesota was wrong. That guy yeah. was arrested. He's going to be charged. I didn't want to, but I, I thought it started getting too rowdy. They started walking towards my other officers. When I was up there, I never felt, I never felt any aggression. I wasn't worried about any kind of anything violent. Chief Lane compared the incident to his own officer's training. We don't, we don't have anything like that in our training. There's no reason to be doing it for that length of time. And we don't we don't do that. We never have and we never will. We've had no violence. We've had nothing getting broken. And this is how a protest is supposed to be done. Police here saying that they would be open to more communication between police officers and the public. Reporting in downtown East Liverpool for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.